Well, desperate patients are paying thousands of dollars for stem cell treatments that haven't been fully tested. Well, the federal government is taking another look at its oversight of that industry, and IT reporter Lauren Lemanchek found treatments offered for a wide range of conditions and diseases without much science to back them up. I thought this was it, that I was going to be able to see. Charisma Cardine has been blind for 13 years, losing her sight to a rare neurological disease. Her family decided to try stem cell therapy, paying a clinic $9,000 out of pocket. They told us that it was a 90 to 95% success rate. We were grasping at straws, but we would do anything to help him. The Hellers were desperate to get Robert off of his oxygen machine. COPD has left him struggling for every breath. Robert went against his pulmonologist's advice, swayed by testimonials that stated stem cells could generate new lung tissue. He spent $7,000. They're making statements and promises that can't be kept. Neither of these patients got the results they wanted. The differential, I guess, is... That doesn't surprise Dr. David Scadden with the Harvard Stem Cell Institute. It sounds too good to be true. The problem is that if people are given mostly a hope and then something that doesn't have any re realistic possibility of helping them, I, I think that's terribly exploitative. Exploitative because there are no clinical trials showing stem cell therapy can provide relief in these situations. But there are powerful testimonials, like Bob Leonard, who was treated for MS. I'm walking better, I'm walking faster, I'm more balanced than I used to be. Dr. Daniel Rataka performed Leonard's treatment. We've done over 4,000 cases. I do not tell him this is therapy. I do not say cure. In the past, the Food and Drug Administration hasn't taken a strong stance on these treatments. That's because the stem cells are removed from a person's own body and put back in, making it different from a drug or a medical device. There are the things that goes here. Which in is, Dr. Uh, Jafar Coupe's Canton office, he removes a patient's fat with liposuction and then concentrates the stem cells in this machine. The new solution is then re-injected for breast augmentation and other cosmetic procedures. Dr. Coupe learned these techniques at a clinic in Japan. So the real question here is, is it safe? This is the safest uh, procedure you can do. Basically, you're moving the fat from one area, clean it up, and put it in the other area of the body so there is no need for this specific procedure, the FDA approval. But now the FDA is taking another look at these stem cell therapies. It sent a warning letter to two large clinics questioning the procedures they perform. More oversight could be a good thing for families like the Hellers. They got swept up in a wave of optimism when there wasn't much hope. They didn't promise us 100% that this was going to happen. However, you know, they made it clear that it was working for a lot of people. Just not for them. For the I-Team, Lauren Lamanchek, WBZ News.